I'm going to say it's good. At least he wasn't pointing where he wanted the ball passed to. That would have been an offsides. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. This is episode six. I have gone in and messed with the tactics a little bit. So we have the uh, the four three three that we've been playing. We've got the four four two that we added last episode, and I've added a five two three. But they were playing with uh, inside players and in, you know two number tens. I've moved them out to wings because that's what Leeds is geared for. And it allows us to get our three center backs in, Cooper, Koch, and Urente, all in the same mix. Phillips is going to move up into the central mid alongside Rodrigo. Alioski and Ailing just kind of move up from the back line wing back to the more uh, forward wing back, which suits the system that Leeds plays. Harrison and they've got Dallas on the wing. Why are we doing that? Uh, Rafinha is tired. If we take a look at him, yeah, he's tired. So we're going to give him a rest. That'll put Dallas up on the front. Is Costa still hurt? Costa is injured. Three days for him to come back to training. What about... I'm going to take Shax off here for Veda. And then I'm going to put Paveda on for Dallas. And it gives us Dallas can play a couple of positions around the pitch. More of a jack-of-all-trades on the bench for us today. And I just kind of want to see if we play this a couple of matches, if it helps us develop a little faster in the familiarity. That's kind of what we're going for. Uh, let's see. If we jump back real quick into the schedule since last game. I forget where we left off last game. I think Newcastle? Yes, Greenwood and Kenna with the debut goals. Uh, so after that, we beat Brighton 1-0, Adam Forshaw with a goal, and then a 4-0 drubbing to Chelsea, and we just lost 2-1 to Liverpool. Liverpool's actually the first match I broke out this three-back defensive set. We looked pretty good. But uh, Jamie Shackleton got the goal, played a 7-7. Very good game for him. So we're back for Burnley and Man City today. Chelsea had a 19-match unbeaten run that uh, just ended this week coming into this match. So that was pretty interesting. And let's pause it for a second. So I'm going to give credit to Kev Lelugio. Uh, for showing this. I saw it in his uh, one of his episodes. Okay, well, that took uh, longer than I expected to get that set, and I'm going to have to still go mess with it. So the problem is I have a 4K monitor, and to get this enlarged area, you've got to have it set to 1080. And when I was tweaking my settings, my game screen was shrinking on my monitor. So basically this edge was like right in this area so not even not even half the monitor basically so anyway i will mess with this let me know in the comments how easy this is for you guys to see and we'll use this as a one-off episode and i will go and fiddle around with it a little bit more uh off camera but i saw this today so Basically, if you have it set to 1080 and you shrink this box down, it will show six sections and then you can reorganize it to how you want it with the different you know things that are available. So this gives us everything. We can see our conditioning. We can see their conditioning, uh, tactical formations, and also our conditioning and uh, how they react or anything so like he's composed right now and then also the recent scores and current table so sorry about that guys but we will uh get back into it now and we're waiting for a highlight i hope this actually works there we are all right uh he was putting it to the back post and it went right into pope's hands little dangerous uh ball there but that's all right 
Alioski. Oh, poor, poor pass. And our three back set gets beat, and Jay Rodriguez slides it past Meslier for his sixth of the season. Alioski with the error. Hmm. Well, let's skip that. Uh, let's come in. So now the problem is we have to actually open this back up and then uh, you know do all you know now it takes a lot more messing around than the way it was before rodrigo picks up a yellow card phillips from a corner there's a header by jackie harrison his fifth of the season at the back post and we have equalized at one apiece in the 29th minute Sends us up into eighth position with the draw. Alioski throws it to the other team. We have tighter marking on on this. We are not playing an offsides trap. There is a nice long outlet pass. All right, got a little block there. Bamford is pretty far back, but that is not uncommon for him in his uh, in his play. Come back across midfield. Oh, there's a takedown. Luke Ayling. A through ball. Was he on sides? The linesman ran up, so I'm going to say that was good. Fifth goal of the season for Bamford. Give us a 2-0 lead. Is Burnley spelled wrong, or is that just me? Ooh, I don't know. They may They may review that one. Calvin Phillips with the assist on that through ball. That's pretty damn close. I'm going to say it's good. At least he wasn't pointing where he wanted the ball passed to. That would have been an offsides. All right, let's give, uh, let's give some, oh, no, God, I just screwed that up. I, gotta, I should be able to cancel that. Damn it. They're not going to be happy about that. <laughs> that was stupid. I berated him. All right, so uh, I also was uh, checking out some stuff on XG, and uh, so basically the white is us. Uh, the goal, the balls are where goals were scored, and that shows the current XG at that point. So when they scored, we were still on a zero. And so we've had a couple of opportunities. We are currently running an XG of, what's that, point, point 0.45 for Burnley, point 0.63 for us. And so that means all things being considered with the chances taken in the first half, it should be a 1-1 one -one game. So we're a little, we're, we're a little good, you know, off uh, in having the extra goal. So is what that means something to that effect you guys probably understand it better than i do uh by the way there is a new podcast out there and it's called because you guys might want to listen to it there was a save it is called the football manager show by the athletic so you guys uh, if you're a Leeds fan, you're familiar with uh, Phil Hay, uh, formerly of the Yorkshire Evening Post. Uh, he is now with The Athletic. But uh, they have this podcast, and they are going to be talking to Miles. He's, uh, he's the guest on the first episode of the first volume of the podcast. And they're going to have you know some bigger names, develop part of the development teams, and it's going to be a weekly thing and with the goal of trying to help people get better at football manager. So anyway, just thought I would point that out to you. Um, Jack Harrison looks dead. Now, funny thing is, I can see Rodrigo is fair. I wonder if we look at him, he's match fit. Injury risk is low. He's not showing tired. So why is he red here? But he is, oh, he has changed. He was green just a second ago. 
All right, so we're going to go sub for Harrison, and we will bring on Stuart Dallas up there. I tell you what, Urente, Ailing. tell you what, let's bring Dallas on, and then we'll move Alioski up top, bring Dallas into the back, and then I think Rodrigo is – a little tired as well. Let's bring on uh, Mateus Click for him. Confirm changes, please. Hello. Hello. There we are. Then we'll downsize that again. I tell you what, it just seems a little cluttered as far as the ease of getting around things, doesn't it? All right, let's go into tactics. Open that, slow the pace down, firm the change. All right, there's a clearance. Cooper runs it down. Up to Alioski. He finds space to the touch line. It's there. Bamford gets a, either a head or a shoulder on it. And 73rd minute. We're going to wait, wait, wait. All right, now we're going to go. All right, let's look at a sub. So who is, let me cancel. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, here we go. So I'm looking at this. So Ailing is knackered. Phillips is knackered. All right, Phillips is ball-winning midfielder. Orshaw. Yep, we'll do that. And then we will give a shout to encourage. They've just moved into a 4-2-4 or a 4-4-2 with attacking wingers. All right, stolen away, not good. Barnes with a chance to counter. Come on, defense. Find that ball. Looks like it was tapped away. Knocked away there. Oh, through ball, but it goes wide of the mark. Some nice movement. Yeah, I'm having a feeling this is going to be a little small when we go back and look at it after the fact. I'm still going to have to post it because it's the video I'm recording, right? But that is what it is. But let me know your thoughts. Um, we were outstretched arms. There we go. Because we were the underdogs in that one. And we'll be back for Man City here in just a second as we climb to eighth in the table. All right, we're back. I've tweaked with the screen a little bit. We'll see how it comes out again. Till I actually finish the episode and then go back and watch it, I won't know for sure. Uh, we have made a couple of moves here at the end of the transfer window I forgot to mention. Uh, I went ahead and sold Kiko Casilla to Besiktas uh, for up to a million dollars. And Curtis Jones of Liverpool, we brought him in on loan. I thought we could only have two players, but maybe that's two Premier League level loans. Of course, Christo coming from Udinese. Jones can play wing. He can also play center back. I think he's pretty good. So we're going to look at him. And I want, where is Jones? There's Jones. So if we take off Roberts, that allows us to put Jones on. And then, you know what? I, I want to give Jones the start here. I want to give Jones a start out on that wing. We'll have Greenwood on the bench for striker duties. So we're going to be Bamford up top, Jones and Rafinha, who's fit again. Klitsch and Rodrigo in that central mid. Stroyek is going to be in the holding mid. Dallas Cooper, Koch, and Shackleton on the back line. And Meslier in goal. We are going to have to give Jones a number. He pulls number eight out of the bin. You know, it's funny. I, nobody's told me anything, but 
Cooper starts, and that's not that's a mistake. Ouch. Uh, we're gonna go to the assistant coach. I lost my train of thought. All right, let's downsize that. And see, I in my resetting to where I think this looks better. I can't get the screen to look good. Meslier with a save there. Good stop. It does go out of play. Sets up a corner. Koch with the header out. They are right back into it. Bernardo, Bondin. Oh, he turns the corner and places it. Phil Foden, his second of the season. And Man City takes a 1-0 lead. Oh, boy. Well, this is... All right. So, see, we're down here, but we're not getting all of this. All right. So, what I did is I've got my settings, but I went in and did, did the preferences in-game to 110%. And so, we've got it there. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Gabriel Jesus picked up a slight injury. Oh, Robin Koch picked up a slight injury. A bruised ankle. All right, well, he wants to come off. So we'll go ahead and make that move. That doesn't bode well. Wanting to come off. That indicates... Something potentially serious. Kevin De Bruyne. Certainly wish we had Calvin Phillips in to keep him a little quiet. Yao Cancelo. Good. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. No. Well, if if you're not if you're not oh, no penalty, thank God. My thinking was, is if you're not 100% sure there's a penalty, he was on the attack. They should have let the play develop and then go back after a clearance or something. But by stopping it, basically gave us a, a, a goal kick, basically. Jesus, they are just toasting us here. All right, let's come in and check our tactic. I'm going to dial it back to standard. That was a poor effort, thankfully. So Man City currently third in the table, 51 points. We are not playing well. I want to give a shout, uh, fire up. All right, Bamford controls it. Back to Urente. All the way back to Meslier. There's a good ball out to Jones, our Liverpool loney, who promptly loses it. Let's check one other thing. Uh, we're going to say dribble less because I think they're out doing us. Oh, shit. How the hell? I mean, we're why, you know. Oh, my God. Meslier. All you had to do was tap that ball. That's all you had to do. Instead, he sits on it. And he's a, oh, he's a sweeper keeper on attack. I mean, he should be pushing the ball every second they get. All right, there's a good ball out to Jones. And even though I told him to dribble less, he decided to take an extra touch. Now, he's into the box, and we will forgive him that fiasco of a dribble as he gets his second goal of the season since coming over <coughs> and makes it two to one man city 
That was a nice finish. Very nice finish. De Bruyne's looking a little tired. All right, let's uh, let's encourage him. All right, so they seem to like encouragement, except for Klitsch. He's anxious and frustrated. And we go to the half. Cooper. Poor, poor ball. Oh, my God, who was that? That was Urente, and then Shackleton with the tackle. But Sterling, what a – oh, my God. What a great save, and it bounces right back to him for a putback. All right, we are going to go positive – we're going to give a shout to demand more. Shackleton into the box, headed away. Bernardo on the counter, and they've left him wide open. Oh, Urente got a foot in there to block it. That was lucky. I think you know what i'm going to drop back to this now i want i think i want urente in the center i think 13 pace 12 pace yeah we'll go with your uh urente in the center there uh klitsch let's bring forshaw in i'm gonna bring greenwood in a little early for bamford I thought about putting Rodrigo up there, but I think we want to see Greenwood up there. Scored on his debut last episode, and Sterling, Sterling with the hat trick, and beats him at the near post. These big clubs are just obliterating us. You know, these top six clubs. Bezley should not have gotten beat. All right. Shackleton says he's been error prone, but he's playing a 6-6. Six, six. Let's uh, demand more again. Tried to make the tackle. Bernardo and Cooper controls it. That's good. But then he puts it right out to... Jeez. All right. Possibly, we're not even passing into space. No, attacking with, we do want to go narrow. No, we can go... We can expand that. I want to up that. Just grasping at straws here. Oh, well, there's an interception by Jones. Oh, Rafinha. Oh, Greenwood just off the mark for his second goal. That was unlucky. That was a nice ball. All right. So they're, they're not happy about Shackleton. I get it. I get it. Dallas can play right and left. Let's bring on Alioski. Well, I tell you what, hold on. I can't make any more subs. Oh, that's right. Koch came off early. Wow, okay. Um, Forshaw. Yeah, we're going to have to just stick with that. Let's drop here. Let's do that. Probably something I'd like to have done earlier rather than later. Come on, boys. 
Four to one. Boy, that's a familiar scoreline to Leeds fans this week in real life. Oh, Rafinha. Jones, too hard of a touch. Nice ball right to the spot. But Greenwood couldn't get to it. It was a little too heavy on the touch. Jones, that was a brilliant through ball, though. Wow. So let me know in the comments, are you guys... Oh, there was a good save. Bowden tried to go near post. Are you guys finding it hard to make transfer moves? Uh, I know I know. Kev... Oh, Stroik cleared it off the line. That was beautiful. You guys have to go back and watch that again. Go back and watch that play. Stroik, it was going to be in, and Stroik cleared it off the line. Have we ever seen that in Football Manager? A lot of first here. So I know Kev was able to sell a bunch of players, but it looks like hardly any teams have any money. And I'm thinking this first year transfers is going to be a little difficult. So, uh, yeah, not happy with your performance. So we are sitting ninth, 31 points, negative 11 goal differential. That's not good. That is not good. Liverpool leading the league by six points over Man United. And we play Leicester next. I'll be doing that off camera. Let's take a look at the schedule. So looks like we will be coming back for West Brom and Southampton. Now the other thing we could do, tell you what, I'm going to pull the rug out from under us here mid mid uh, midway. So originally I was planning on just doing the one season, right? But if we go, if I go ahead and skip, we may not even watch the season finales. Let me play these off camera, see how we're doing. When I get up to West Brom, and then we may skip another bunch and look at, you know, Wolves, somewhere in that range. But if we're still just solidly mid-table with nothing exciting, I may skip all the way to season's end, and then we come back, and then at least we can have a real transfer window and, you know, and then go through one more season uh before the beta ends and then we get two two seasons out of this um i think that's going to be the game plan so that's what i'm going to do because i want to guys hit that like button subscribe oh my god we got drilled but we did get the win against burnley uh so let me know what you guys think and we will see you next episode have a good one bye